Good morning, Fishheads. TGIF. It's Friday. We are just a few hours away from kickstarting our weekend. Stoked about it. I love the fall. I love the fall. I love the fall. Can't say that enough. Lots of cool stuff going on for you this weekend. Got a few baits to show you, and we're, that's all we're doing on this particular video. Don't have anything else in the works, but we are going to be doing a spray session on that bait right there. It's a big bait. It's a Johnston Lures perch pattern. We're going to be doing something really, really cool with it. So I'm excited to show you that. That's going to roll out this weekend for you guys. But in the meantime, you will notice in the fall, there's a lot more crawl patterns that I do. If you guys have been following this channel for any particular length of time, or even if you're new, crawl patterns are very effective in the fall. They're effective year round, but for some reason, the crawls are on the move. They get that beautiful reddish tone to them, unless you're in the north. If you're in the north, then I tell you what, this blue on the walleye, I do a couple of different patterns on that. I do uh, the pink iced belly crawl, and then this is the blue one right here, but these are these are more walleye minded, and the smallmouth have a tendency to like these guys in two fives and one point fives as well. But crawfish are just one of the most awesome patterns to do in the fall, and I love doing them anyways. It's probably my favorite patterns to do. These are some orders that are going to be going out this morning. Let's start with this one. Got those it's like tangerines. It's like a couple of pieces of oranges stuck to the eyes. These are from Jets and Lures. Um, you can find him right there. We'll give him a close up. I know he's back in business. Um, not sure what his turnaround time is, but solid eyes. Somebody was asking me yesterday where I get solid eyes at. I get them from Jetson primarily because I like to promote small businesses that are here in the States. And then I also get them from Lure Parts Online. They've got a pretty decent selection of solid color eyes. Not as many as you can get. You can get custom orders from John over at Jetson. But these are the tangerine eyes that kind of match up with that orange flake that I've got going on here. And I've got a little bit of a, a pearl white stripe on the belly and lots of lots of glitter on this one. So this is uh, painted primarily in pearl paints. Next up, we've got some Spro. These are those little, little Johns MD50s. They travel around seven to eight feet depth. Good all around crawl bait. This is a perfect all around fall crawl pattern for bass. Got those black half eyes in there. Solid bait. Solid, solid bait. And lots of texturing on this particular one. Also did a heavy texture for a customer. They asked for raised bumps, so I was able to give them that. And you can definitely see the texture in this. And basically all that is, it's a stencil snake skin spray that I did that I laid down and then I hand detailed white and then blue over some of it at the customer's request. And I think it turned out pretty cool. It's certainly the first time that I've done um, anything in depth as far as texturing by hand. But you can really see that texture come to life in this bait. And then we've got those pearl, if you guys can see the close up here. We've got the pearl eyes, which are, those are Amazon eyes. I can leave the link in the description below. Or if you guys are interested in getting those cool eyes, they... um. They're fun. They're, they're a lot of fun to see if I can find them for you. That's what they look like in a full card. But they're available at Amazon. Sometimes, if you can find them. I was playing around with these yesterday. Um, these are also Jets and Eyes. And he, I requested a reverse um, lizard eye where instead of the majority of the eye being that um, prism, and then the black pupil, I wanted the prism to be the pupil and then the black. And that turned out really good, especially if you're going to do anything like craws or like darker profile frogs. But it just looks good against this deep, deep red and green. So I will get to, if you guys, I've done, I've done a couple of texturing and layering techniques on, on how to put depth into this. Like you can see in this where you've got like a couple of different areas that just it makes it look like it's jumping off that bait. Um, I've got a couple of, of videos on that. I will certainly link those below, but I'll, I'll refresh that. I can update that and uh, it'll either be this color or a version of this in a different color. I might do a sexy shad uh, adaptation of this particular bait, but this is the kamikaze bug and I have done it in 
that and also I did a more orange red what why do you always want to be in the video you know I'm busy give me a second no you're not are you getting up here what do you have to say do you know what you want to say apparently not so anyways, this is a, more of a fluorescent kind of a pattern for this, but definitely some, some depth and texture on this as well. And this is the Kamikaze Shad in Lipless. Awesome patterns, lots of fun doing this. I did two of these for a customer. And there you have it. Uh, so this is not a true red of any color. It's a mix that I've done, and it's a fluorescent, an iridescent, and a cherry red mixed together. So, yeah, I can certainly throw that into a video for you guys if you guys want to learn how to do the layering and the depth and the lure. So this is just some basic stenciling that mimics a craw pattern. Also pretty decent. Got some depth in there great fall pattern chrome eyes the uh, these eyes are not from jets and these guys are from lure parts online again they they both have solid some um, jets and just has some really cool adaptations and colors that you can't find anywhere else couple left here we've got a chart topper frog pattern on that gill through water flow technology blank Jets and eyes on these as well. Waiting on some feather trebles to come in. They have been back ordered and should be here any day. And these will go out the door. It's a two piece order. And the yellow frog. Cool eyes on that as well. Last but certainly not least, we've got this hillbilly rocket crawl. Those gorgeous glow, bright yellow chartreuse eyes from Lore Parts Online. Go pick up some cards of those today they come in all different sizes i believe the smallest is four maybe 3.5 but i think four all the way up to like eight they got they have these so a lot of fun on that this is getting shipped out today that is all the news that's fit to print got a lot of spray sessions coming up that guy's going to get done today and shot hopefully uploaded by tomorrow morning for you guys very cool pattern on this johnston perch pattern blank um what else we've got backloaded stuff that i'm going to be doing all through my trip so i'm going to schedule a bunch of stuff for you guys so that you won't be bored and wondering what to do with your lives while i'm on the road but hey if you're at this point in the video and you'd like to see me daily vlog my trip including the boring ass drive that i'm probably going to take um it's going to be long it's going to be like 14 hours the first day and then five hours the second day and then when we go to New York, so if you guys want to see all that material, I'll be happy to find some interesting highlights to put in there for you guys. Maybe I'll do a community post and ask if you guys want to see that. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Get out there and do some fishing. It's going to be nice all across the nation. It's a little bit cool in the, in the upper northwest, and it's maybe blizzard in Colorado. I'm not sure. I think I saw, I don't know, it's like 95 degrees in uh, Georgia, and it's going to be like minus one in Colorado. So you guys take it easy. Have a great day, and we will talk to you on the next one. Happy casting.